1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 5. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. If I want to think of something that makes me happy, I think of Tori's love. To see the care she has for others and animals will make you just want to love more. She makes me a better person, without her I am lost. Together we will accomplish many things in our life. I promise to always work hard for you to provide whatever it is to get us through. Genesis 3, 19 By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you are taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. In this life with you until we die, I promise to wake up in the mornings and work for you and our future family. Whether we are rich or poor, healthy or sick, no matter what plan God gives us going forward, may we always love each other, encourage one another, look over for one another's best interest. I love you and I am thankful God gave you to me. Today to most people is just another ordinary day. The sun rose, babies were born, people got to sleep in, and we just so happened to be getting married. But the not so ordinary part is how we're about to make promises to each other for the rest of our lives. To comfort one another and to laugh no matter how ordinary or unusual the days may be. I cannot promise you an easy life or that I will not disappoint you somewhere along the way. I cannot promise you that I will be the perfect wife but I can promise that I will choose to love you every day for the rest of my life. I vow to remember that neither one of us are perfect, but I will strive to remember the ways in which we are perfect for each other. I promise to encourage your compassion for the things you love because that's what makes you unique and wonderful. You amaze me every day as I watch you follow your dreams of helping others achieve their goals. And most importantly, I promise to take care of you when you're old and grumpy, but the first time you hit me with your cane or back nail me in any way, I'm going to wash your dentures in the toilet. So I take you, Tristan Dylan Blaylock, to be my partner for life. I promise above all else to live in truth with you and to communicate fully and fearlessly. I give you my hand and my heart as a sanctuary of warmth and peace that will forever be yours to store endless amounts of fun and sad times. I pledge my love, devotion, faith, and honor as I join my life to yours. You know me better than anyone else in this world, and somehow you still manage to love me. You're my best friend and my one true love. There's still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm the one who actually gets to marry you. I love you with everything I have, now and forever. <laughs>